Good day everybody. My name is Claire from 3 and Me, and I teach crafts generally in workshops but um, seeing as we have this pandemic at the moment I would like to still bring creativity into your homes for you to make things to make your homes beautiful and to keep you inspired while you're indoors. So in general we would be filling our homes with pretty spring blossoms right now and uh, seeing as we can't be going out to buy fresh flowers I would like to teach you how you can make some of your own. Now <laughs> I have all my children in my home, I have my dog and my husband which is such a blessing um, but should there be some kids running around or noises or background that is because we are all in here at the same time so please bear with me. This craft should be something that you can do from supplies that you already have in your home. You won't be needing to likely buy anything. Um, most of these things can be modified. So uh, basic supplies are going to be filter papers. They come in a couple of different sizes, but uh, two sizes will work. I had white ones on hand, but you can use any that are um, light brown as well your colors will be a little bit more different you will then need some form of stem so you can use uh, skewer sticks you can use chopsticks or you can use a straw and then that'll take the uh, straw out of the environment and be environmentally friendly so we're doing something for our world the other thing you could use is sticks from the garden um, or you could also use pipe cleaners. So anything that is straight and would form some form of stem will work. You will also need food colorants. Okay, I've decided to use red and yellow, but you can use any colors you want. Uh, I figure most people will have food colorants in their home, um, but if you don't, you can also use um, watercolor paints, you can use acrylic paints that you dilute. So there are many different options to make this project work with whatever you have in your home. You will also need some form of tape. Um, while I realize not everybody has floral tape in their home, this is floral tape. You can also use washi tape or masking tape or even cello tape. So just something that is sticky and that will stick to your, uh, your stem and adhere your beautiful blossom onto its stick. All right, so let's carry on with this. We will also need water. Um, I prefer using water that is a little bit warmer. Uh, it seems to just work better, but you can use cold water as well if that is what you've got. Okay. Okay, next step. Take your food colorants and your water. You're going to drop five to ten drops of food colorant into your warm water. All right, there you go. This one's just red. All right, this one is just yellow and this one is something in between. You want to have a variety so that each flower has a couple of shades of whatever color you're going to go with. So um, you need four to seven filter papers per flower to make it look full. So you can make a smaller flower with four or a larger flower with seven filter papers, but each leaf is going to be a different shade of a similar color okay so i'm going so you're going to take your filter papers in sets of four to six um scrunch them up a bit and then dip them all right and you can leave them in there it's yellow there's red and there's in between the other thing that you can do is double dip so that's a fun thing to do too because um, it'll create shades that are in between these three shades so once you're done with the red you can put the red into the medium or you could put the yellow into the medium to give you different hues you're going to squeeze them out until they look like this and don't be shy to really scrunch them you want to get rid of the majority of the water um, so that they can dry but also when they are dry and nice and scrunched you're going to get more real, realistic looking petals 
Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. If you let them air dry, it'll take one to two hours. The other thing you can do if you're baking a lot at the moment is once you're done baking or cooking, you can leave the oven off and put your wet filter papers into the oven laid like this. Okay, so put them flat into the oven and within 10 to 15 minutes they will be dry. You're going to choose seven of the different hues, different shades for a big flower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to take the, these seven and then I think I'm going to use these for a yellow flower. So there are a number of ways to make a rose and one of them is to wrap your filter papers around your skewer and the other one is to stick the skewer through it. So the first one is coming up right now. All right, you're going to take your stick and your tape at this point. Okay, is everybody having fun? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, thank you for bearing with me. This is uh, somewhat new to me. So the easiest way to do this is to take your skewer and poke it through all of the tissues. Okay, just like that. Yeah, then you're going to take a little bit of tape just on the inside. Just gonna put a little bit of tape on the inside to prevent these petals from falling off your skewer. Okay, just like that. All right, you need to move your petals up. Look, it already looks pretty, kind of looks like a poppy, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna scrunch them up a little bit on the top. Another thing that you can do if you'd like to, which also makes it look really, really realistic, especially if you're using tissue paper or smaller filter papers, is to cut um, is to cut the edges of your filter paper. I can show you on this one, if we were to just take the filter paper and fold it in quarters, and then take a pair of scissors, like over here, and just uh, scallop it. So you can scallop it a little bit like that. It doesn't need to be neat. Just remember, flowers don't need to be perfect. Alright, so let's scallop this one a little bit. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. Okay, so that is what it looks like scalloped. You can do this without the stick in, of course, so that was an afterthought, sorry about that. Okay, and now you have some rough looking petals move them around a bit so that they're not all in the same orientation. Okay, there you go. Right, doesn't that already look pretty? All right, so watch this. Now you're going to take your petals, scrunch them up in the center. Keep scrunching. It doesn't matter if they move down a bit, that's okay. Let's scrunch them. Go. And you can keep on scrunching at them. They don't need to, they don't need to be smooth. Alright, so we've got something that looks like that. Right, now you're gonna take the end and twist it. Okay, this is probably a better angle for you. So you're gonna take your floral tape and twist it around the base of your flower. Okay doesn't need to be perfect. There you go. And your first flower is probably not going to look that perfect, but just keep practicing. Okay, so once you've got the base secured, you're just going to keep on twisting. Keep on twisting. All the way. Until you get to the bottom. All right. And it is easier with washi tape or floral tape, um, but masking tape will definitely work as well. 
All right, so all the way to the end and then tear it all. Okay, so I have now got the beginnings of a flower. Right, the second method. You take your filter paper and you fold it in half. Now, again, you want to be using about four to seven filter papers and use them in slightly different tones. If you have vastly different from, tones from yellow right through to pink in one rose, it won't look natural. So I'm going to take mostly yellows with some that are a little bit peachy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take my skewer I'm going to take my first filter paper, fold it in half, and then I'm going to twist it into a cone, and that's going to be the center of my rose. I'm going to attach it to my filter paper. I'm going to twist it a little bit, just to make sure it looks natural. Okay, right, remember the tight part of the rose is on the inside. I'm going to use a little bit of tape to secure it to the stick. So with this one, we're going to be using tape right the way through, not just at the end. Okay, turn that off. Right. I'm going to use my second piece of filter paper. I'm going to cut it. In. I'm going to uh, fold it in half, and then I am going to wrap it around the first part. Okay, and you don't need to do it neatly. You can make it a little bit messy. All right, so it's not completely neat. Okay, I'm going to take my, uh, sorry, I'm going to use some tape. All right, tape the end. Please excuse my yellow hands, I should have washed them after I did the uh, dyeing. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's actually quite a cute little starter rose. All right, you could by all means use this one in your bouquet. Otherwise, get another color out same technique and you just keep going until your rose is as big as you want it to be okay this one here I'm going to twist it around all right and make it a little bit messier so open it up as you go just to see what it'll look like all right that already looks quite natural okay twist the floral tape around the edge go. Right, what do you think? Should we do another layer? I think we should. All right, same technique. You see the petals are starting to look very natural here. And when you when you are adding a different layer like this, um, at, you see where your previous layer came together. You've got that gap. Now when you use your next filter paper, cover that gap. All right. Hello, Joey. And your flowers will look better and better as you go along. So don't be disheartened if your first flower doesn't look great. It's okay. You can always make others. Just practice and make beautiful flowers all over your home or leave them on the doorstep for someone who could use who could use a flower today. All right, there we go. All right. So there is this rose. I'm going to twist the tape all the way through to the end okay and I'll finish doing that after because you don't need to see that I hope you've had fun creating flowers during this tutorial with me I have put all my roses into a vase if you add a few um, stems from outside some real greenery it'll really make people think that it is real that these roses are not just made out of filter paper because they can see the dew on the rose leaves so go ahead make beautiful roses please remember to share your creations with me and tag me on um, your posts with the at 3 andme so that I can see what you've made. I'd love to see what you're up to and know that you're all doing well. Um, there will be some more tutorials coming up. This, there were two different types of roses covered in this tutorial, but there are so many different ways to do this. Um, I also have the slideshow tutorial for those of you who prefer to, to speed through a slideshow. 
and um, that one is just going to have the wrapped rose in it. But uh, go have fun, stay safe, and um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.